So today we're back for race number nine in our season with Ferrari. We're headed to Canada. So let's continue. And it's four days until the Canadian Grand Prix. We've got our post-race debrief here. And they're talking about Sainz's smoothness. So the smooth operator is not smooth. How is that possible? We don't have any points to upgrade it either. So I'm guessing we'll have to deal with Sainz not being smooth. And the floor research is complete. There's technical changes next season. So maybe we can do the chassis. We've got 3.8 MAU hours remaining. Let's use one hour here and we've got 54 wind tunnel hours remaining. Now let's use 10. Uh, research focus balance, that's fine. How many engineers? We've got five available. Oh, we've got six available, I think. And then, yeah, if we use one, there's five left. So let's use four. 100k, that's fine. Okay, and can we manufacture something? Because the underfloor was done. But that's for next season, I guess. Because we only have design number one. Okay. So, uh, let's check the inbox. What else is in there? So, congratulations. The board is happy with our Azerbaijan Grand Prix victory. We scored a 1-3 there. And we're leading both championships. Oh, and Giovinazzi is developing. Okay. He's got two points available. Mm, his braking is quite poor. And his defending. Ooh. Let's put both in defending. Okay. That improves his racecraft a bit. Let's continue. Uh, let's see. The codes inbox. Race preview. Yeah, like it said earlier, we're leading the championship. That's fine. And the race prep. So we just need to check out the targets. Oh, Saturday. It's gonna be raining. So Friday is sunny. Saturday is rainy. And Sunday is cloudy. So I'm guessing the race will be dry, but you never know in Canada. Uh, let's see. Qualifying target, reach Q3. Okay, that should be doable. With both of the drivers. We should be able to reach Q3 if nothing strange happens. And finish the race in at least second position with both drivers. That's a Ferrari 1-2. That's what they want. In Canada. Okay. And qualify fourth or higher for two races in a row. Yeah, that should be doable. Fourth or higher in quality with at least one driver. That should be doable. But the uh, one, two in the race, that's gonna be tricky. Let's see if we can do that. Let's go to the race weekend. One is back in Montreal. Let's hope it's not going to be Groundhog Day. The local rodents have disrupted more than one race day here in the past. The Canadian Grand Prix is ready to kick off, and the only drama on the tracks we want to see is the best drivers in the world battling it out for a place on that podium. 
Gilles Villeneuve is a quick, free-flowing circuit in parts with a stop-start aspect thrown in for good measure around the chicanes and hairpin bends. Medium speed downforce will play a large part in avoiding the wall of champions and ensuring success at this iconic track. We're about halfway through the season now and there's still plenty of time for everything to change. All eyes are on the teams and how they tackle the rest of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Formula One. Okay, FP1, let's see. Um, do we want to go and get out there ourselves to try and find the perfect setup? I'm inclined to just simulate this one and see how far we get. Because last week in Baku, it took quite a while to get the right setup. And if we can simulate it and get there quicker, then Maybe we should do that. Let's see. Let's see what happens if we simulate FP1. Just gonna try it out. For a second and third, that's fine. No grid penalties for anybody. Nope. So, ooh, their setup confidence is only 50. Okay, let's do FP2 ourselves. And see what happens. Um. So let's, uh, they use two sets of softs. Let's use a hard tire. I think we can do a full uh, practice session on the hard tire. 15 lap run plan, that's fine. Let's do the same for Carlos, hard tires. 15 lap run plan. Okay, let's go to FP2. We're gonna manage that one ourselves. And radio check, Charles. Radio check, okay. Okay, let's get the cars out there. And let's also send out signs. So we were second and third in FP1 on the same tire as Red Bull. I believe Verstappen was like two or three tenths quicker. So we are quite close in terms of pace, but could be better. Oh, now I'm sending them out. Well, we do have. Um, five out of five setup feedback so let's make this into a reconnaissance lab and we're gonna call them in again and we'll see what they have to say about the setup then we can tweak the setup right away call in early let's do the same for Carlos Oh, they're heading back into the pits. It's just a recon lap. Box. Copy understood. And we need speed limiter on. Speed limiter on. Speed link. Copy. Okay, so that's why his setup confidence is only 54. His straight line speed is not that great. I'm guessing we're using way too much uh, wing angle. So braking stability is great, the other ones are good. What if we drop especially the rear wing? Then cornering is quite, quite bad. Um, can we fix that with some camber? Let's use a lot of toe, a lot of camber. What if we try this? Plan 
15 laps. Yep. It'll take a while to reconfigure, but it is what it is. And there's Carlos. So let's do the same for Carlos. And yeah, it's the same problem for him. A very low straight line speed. They're using way too much downforce here. We shouldn't be doing that in Canada. Uh, let's lower both of the wings. You can immediately see the straights. It goes up like crazy. See that? Up the rear wing, it goes down. And you drop the rear wing and it goes up. So, what about this? Um, Let's try this for Carlos. Let's see what he has to say. Oh no, don't cancel. Confirm. There we go. Uh, we need to skip ahead a bit because it's taking a, a few minutes to reconfigure both of the cars. Meanwhile, the others are doing laps. Gasly in P1 at the moment. Gasly is doing well in this game. Oh, we're done reconfiguring. Let's head out. Okay, so now both of the cars are gonna do a 15 lap run. We currently have zero out of five uh, feedback on the car setup and hopefully that'll be five out of five once they're done with their run They're both in free air, Leclerc is, and Sainz is not. <laughs> He's right behind Ocon and K-Mag. So let's skip ahead. They've got some laps to do. And hopefully this will improve their setup confidence. It was only 54 and 53. Oh, yellow. Yellow flag. What happened? Sounds like there's been a crash. Let's oh, Joe crashed. Let's take another look. There we have Joe. Oh, he locked up. That Oof. crash is terrible. I'm guessing that's him out of the practice session. No, he's still running. They've got a sturdy car then. Yeah, he's pitting for repairs. Let's see, we're almost halfway in our run. Two out of five feedback. Hopefully we can get five out of five. Another crash, VSC. What's going on? Virtual safety car, virtual safety car. Okay. So ignore, no, I'm not gonna box. Ricciardo. We've had a crash. Ricciardo crash. Now look at this, Daniel Ricciardo involved here. Same corner as Joe. Maybe he touched the grass. Is the crash. Okay, he's done. And that was a bitter blow for the team. And it may have really hurt their overall chances. Okay, let's skip ahead. VSC will be over quite soon. Yep, there it is. Okay. 
So they can continue with their run. And Leclerc is only one tenth behind Max right now. Another yellow flag. A lot of people crashing. We've just had a crash on the track. Ooh, Let's stroll. Take a closer look. During his home Grand Prix. Martin. Hey BG. They've lost control and there's the crash. Oh, that's not even a crash. He just clipped his front wing. I think Stroll will survive this one. Even though he's in P19. Two Canadians at the bottom. P19 and P20. Okay, uh, just a few more laps and we're already at 4 out of 5 setup feedback. And Leclerc is heading back. Do we have 5 out of 5 feedback? No, we don't. That's a shame. But it can still change. We've got a few more corners to go. Update when you can. Here we go. Yes, guys. Let's keep working with the, our readings up with the good progress. Copy. 83. It went up from 54 to 83. There we go. And Leclerc did the fastest lap. Even though it's only 12 milliseconds faster than Verstappen. But we did that on a hard tire. And Max is out there on medium. Okay, copy. Okay, so we can reconfigure and Leclerc's car. Cornering is optimal and traction is bad, okay. So basically I want to keep everything the same except for traction. Uh, and that's close to impossible, I think. Okay, the anti-roll distribution has a lot of effect on the traction. So maybe if we up that one, uh, it'll give us less oversteer. And uh, what if we up this one then? No, I'm not gonna change the rear wing. So we up the anti-roll and then we up the front wing with one click. Yeah, that should hopefully improve the traction. Um, the same tires? Yeah, they're still at 80%, that's fine. Uh, run length, 15 laps. Let's do it. Now where is Carlos? Right there on the back straight. He's in P4, 3 tenths slower than Leclerc at the moment. Copy Did we get all of the feedback from him? I don't think we have. We've got 5 out of 5. We've got 4 out of 5. Okay. So at least his traction isn't bad. But we don't know the exact percentage yet. So I don't really want to change anything, but uh, let's just get him out there for two laps. Okay, three laps. That's the minimum. And we give him some more fuel. And we can send him out right away. It'll probably only take one or two laps to get five out of five feedback. But that's all we want. And Leclerc still reconfiguring. I need to update the setup. It'll take a few minutes. This is a really cool... Oh, there it is. Okay. Setup confidence is good. 
The car feels neutral. Copy. Okay, so we could still improve the setup for signs as well. It's good, not great. Uh, let's call him in. We just need a half a lap extra. This is a really cool uh, camera angle though. It would be awesome if they would use this in the race more often. Yeah, in the pit lane. Okay. Okay, let's see what this setup confidence is and what we can improve. 78. Uh, reconfigure. Okay, so first three are great and the other two are good so what do we change difficult to say so I basically want to change the bottom two anti-roll uh, can we do the same thing we did with uh, Leclerc and then cornering is quite low we try this then the traction is improved and the other ones are basically the same just slight deviations from what they were uh, okay let's reconfigure it'll take a while but we'll get there and let's see if both of the cars will have an improved setup this way Leclerc is ready to go out again. Let's send him out for a second run. With a hopefully improved car setup. Let's see. We already got it up from uh, 50 to 80. So maybe we can get it to 90. Let's see. And we can all always uh, simulate FP3 for those last few percents set of confidence okay let's skip ahead a bit it's not too busy out on track now let's get signs out there as well right away quite close together and now Checo's in front of Leclerc so he doesn't really have any free air to run into but Oh, Science only has a three lap run plan. Uh, reconfigure, let's not do that. The uh, tires are still fine, but the run plan needs to change. Uh, 15 laps. There we go, we just need some more fuel. Now he was just out for like three laps. That's not gonna give us any feedback. Still zero out of five. Let's see, um, do we drop him right behind Leclerc? Why not? Let's send him out right now. Hopefully he'll be out before the group where Hamilton is in. Let's see, where is Sainz right now? Ooh, it'll be close. They still need to go through. Turn one and two. Yeah, he's in front of them. Okay, nice. That was perfect timing. So, Sainz is out as well. And Leclerc is still right behind Checo. He's doing his laps. Okay, let's see. Uh, he's around halfway in this run. Yellow flag again. Only short. No big crashes or anything. So let's see 
if Leclerc's setup confidence has actually gone up. We're still in P1 in the standings. Now Max is out on his hard tires. Oh, yellow again. It was crashed. Nobody DNF. Oh, Magnussen. Now just focus on the Haas. Turn one. He just locks up. We see the crash. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He just turned right all of a sudden. You know what? I'm not gonna miss the wall. You're gonna <laughs> drive straight to the wall. What? Crashes in this game are really weird sometimes. Okay, Leclerc's done with his run. But did he get 5 out of 5 feedback? Nope, not yet. Not yet. I think we're gonna have to send him out for one more lap. Because it's still at 4 out of 5. I want to know all 5, because only then will we get a percentage. Charles Pitlane. Cup in the stud. On. Okay, let's see. Uh, still four out of five. Now I'm not gonna change anything on the setup. Just gonna drop the run plan. I, I could actually even keep it on 15 laps and just call them in whenever it's five out of five, but. This way he doesn't need that much fuel, and we can send him out just a few seconds earlier. He's got only five laps of fuel now. The three push laps and out lap and an in lap. So, yeah, that's free air. Okay, nice. It's quite busy there. The other side of the track, where Carlos is. He's got a Hamilton right behind him on softs. Okay, let's skip ahead. Here we go. Five out of five. So let's call in Leclerc. Where is he? Okay, just a couple more corners to go. And Science is still at three out of five. So he'll need to do a couple more laps. Now let's see if Leclerc's setup confidence has actually improved. It was 83, I believe. Copy understood. And we need speed limiter on. on. Okay, reconfigure. 91! There we go! We upped the traction and now it's at 91. Okay, I'm not gonna change anything anymore. This is fine. Let's put another run plan in there. 10 laps. Uh, there's only a few minutes remaining in the session, so it doesn't really matter anyway. Uh, Science is completing his run. He'll be done just a couple of minutes before the end of the session. Uh, let's send out Leclerc again, just for the track acclimatization. 
Well, Leclerc's setup is, is fine. It's more than fine. 91%. I'll take it. The Tiffy P19 is faster than Stroll at the moment. Uh, let's see. Size is 4 out of 5. He's done with this run, but... Oh, yeah, we've got 5 out of 5, I think. Set of confidence, 85%. That's better than it was last time. Wasn't it? I don't remember his percentage. Okay, understood. Okay, maybe we can still tweak it. But we can also leave it up to the engineers and just simulate FP3. Okay, cornering is optimal. Traction is great. So it's looking pretty good. So let's just go to the end of the session. We've got great setups right now. Okay, check a flag. Everyone's ending their final laps. And we're P2 and P6 for signs only, but we were running on hard tires all of the time. So we could definitely be faster. And there's only a two tenths uh, gap between Sainz and Leclerc, so it's not too bad. And I believe Max did his fastest lap on the mediums. Maybe, maybe he did it on the hearts, because it says hard right now, but... I believe his first stint was on mediums, and then he set his fastest lap, so... I'm not too sure, but that's what I think happened. Okay, so the setup is great. Let's continue to Saturday. Today we see the culmination of the team's practice efforts translate to the all-important qualifying session. Each team will be looking to build on the progress they made during yesterday's practice sessions. When it comes to preparation, absolutely nothing should be left to chance. Everything has to be just right. Of course, by the time the cars hit the track, well, there are some things in Formula One that no one can prepare for. So get yourselves comfortable. It's going to be quite the ride. So, FP3. And there's heavy rain on the way on Saturday. Now, let's simulate FP3. And hopefully they can improve their setup a little bit. Get some more track acclimatization and we can head into qualifying. Okay, next. We're fastest. Almost two tenths quicker than Max. So that's looking good for quality. 14.0 and Science did a 14.3. Okay. Setup conference is 92 and 88. Nice. Okay, Quali, let's see, maybe it's gonna rain, it's gonna be interesting either way, if it's dry I'm gonna go out straight away. Um, do we go out on soft? Mm -mm -mm. So we've got three sets of softs, three sets of mediums and one set of hards left. Now there's one set of each locked for the race. I'm inclined to go out with mediums right now, in case all of the sessions are dry. Because we only have two sets of softs. Probably, oh no, wait, we're gonna use uh, this one for Q3, right? So this one for Q1, this one for Q2, and this one for Q3, if it's dry. But let's see. 
Uh, one flying lap, yeah, that's fine. Let's do the same here. It's not like I'm gonna use three sets of mediums during the race anyway. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it's dry. Q1. Alright, good check. Yeah, all good. Green light. It looks like it is dry. I'm gonna go out right away. Uh, do we have some weather forecast somewhere? That's looking, it's looking dry throughout Q1. Maybe there was rain in uh, FP3. Or there's gonna be rain in Q2 and Q3. Who knows? So we're gonna do Q Q1 on uh, medium tires. Here we go. We're starting our flying lap. And I think we should easily be quick enough to go through to Q2. Even on the mediums. Maybe the mediums are like half a second slower than the softs. But then still, the gap to P16 will be around, I don't know, one and a half seconds. So we should still be a second quicker than the time in P16. And Leclerc's got free air, so... Sainz has also got free air. We should be good during this run. Russell's on his outlap. He's getting out of the way. Nice. No problem with traffic there. And the signs of any problem with Russell. No, he's quite far ahead still. I think George is gonna get ready to push in a minute. No, he's gonna let him by. Oh, come on, Ru Russell. What are you doing, man? slower than Leclerc. Yeah, two tenths. It's not too bad. But come on, George. That was terrible timing. But I think a 12.2 and a 12.4 I should still be quick enough to get us into Q2. If we'll get close to the drop-off times, then uh, we can head out on a second run during the end of Q1. But let's head back to the pits. Box. Copy understood. Speed limiter on and speed limiter on. Good day. Copy it. Okay, let's see what the other ones are doing. Max is quicker, but he's on softs. I'm guessing, yep, everybody's on softs, except for us. So we're P3 and P5 at the moment, which is fine. Maybe Lewis can get up there as well. He's doing a lap right now. Yeah, he's P4. So we're P3 and P7. Gasly is quick. He does so well in this game. So... If we want to go out, we should go out right now. And it's still 8 tenths between Sainz and Vettel. I think we should be good. I, I'm just gonna risk it. I'm gonna stay in. No way Vettel is gonna be like almost a second faster. Okay, check his flag. And we are safely through to Q2. So on mediums, we're third and seventh, which is fine. 
We only needed to be in the top 15. Bottom 5. They've qualified for their respective positions. And the other ones are through. So right now, uh, I'm gonna switch the softs. Estimated cutoff time is 12.6. Okay. Uh, let's see if it's still dry. Q2. Here we go. And ready attack. Still dry. Ooh, but in the end it's gonna rain. Check, okay. Let's go out. Let's go out right now. 50% chance of rain in five minutes. Let's go. I need a lap time up on that board. Because we might not be able to do a second uh, run on dry tires. With rain coming, it's going to be now or never. Why is Leclerc so slow? That was weird. Like he had some some kind of issue or something. Okay, where is science? There he is. Okay, let's skip ahead. Hopefully no traffic. There goes science. Soft tires. It'll still be dry for four minutes at least. So we should be good. No traffic for Sainz, and where's Leclerc? No traffic for Leclerc either. Okay, nice. Only Lewis is out on track ahead of us. And he's way ahead of us. So we did it, 12.2 and a 12.4 I believe. In Q1 on mediums. So right now we should be able to do a, I don't know, 11.7, something like that. Let's see what the lap time is. Here we go, Carlos across the line. His lap time is 12.0, okay. And Leclerc, 11.8, that's decent, that's decent. So, it's gonna be interesting to see what the others are doing, because not a lot of them are out right now. But there is rain on the radar. 80% chance of rain during the last few minutes of Q2. I mean, that says to me that it's very likely to be raining in like only 5-6 minutes time. So if they want to set a good lap time, they need to go out right now. Let's see, okay, some of them will go out. And it's raining already! Yes, confirmed, raining. Oh, okay. With 10 minutes to go! And only 3 people have set a time right now on dry tires! Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. A lot of people are out. But out on which tire? Intermediates. So Norris managed to set a lap time on dry tires as well, but he's 10 seconds slower than Hamilton. 10 seconds! Yeah, that's what you get when you go out too late. Are they going out on wets? Not intermediates, okay. Yeah, good luck guys. Sheesh! I'm happy I went out right away. I've got a lap time on the board on softs. 
and it looks like it's not going to be dry for the rest of the session anymore, so... Good luck with that! Let's see, 30 seconds slower. Okay, it's time for full wets, even. They're doing, they're doing lap times on softs? What are you guys doing? They were still out there, I think. Even though it's been raining for four minutes already. Yellow flag. Sounds like we've had a spin. Let's take a look at the replay. Ooh, right, mixed what's bun. this? There's Schumacher. They lose it there. That's the spin. So, track is damp right now. 3.8 millimeters. And we're up there high and dry in P1 and P2. So, nothing can really stop us anymore. It's not gonna be dry before the end of the session. Everybody's going out for another run. They don't want to be in the bottom five. But on what tire are they on? Let's see. Inters, Inters. Yeah, everybody's out there on Inters. Okay. Let's see what happens. Check it flag. So it's the final lap. And Mercedes are through, Red Bull are through. So it's Mick, Joe, Yuki, K Mag, Ocon. They didn't make it to Q3, but we did. Now let's see if Q3 is wet or dry. I'm gonna say it's wet. So maybe we need to go to Inters. Let's see. Uh, one flying lap, yeah, that's fine. Start Q3. And radio check. Okay, now it's dry. Radio check, okay. Only 40% chance of rain. So, yeah, we're on softs. Are we? Yep, we are. So, let's go out. Okay, lots of other cars also going out right now. Alonso, Lewis. Or is that Russell? No, that's Lewis. Cars are very slow through there, somehow. I don't know why. Okay. So, signs might be a bit too close to Lewis. Not sure. But we're gonna start our first flying lap of Q3. See what our lap time will be. Q2, uh, Leclerc did at 11.8. So uh, hopefully we can beat that. Okay, let's see, we're coming up on the end of the flying lap. Checo led us through. Luckily, he will be starting his flying lap, I think. 12.1. That's three tenths slower than what we did in Q2.
and Sainz did a 12.3. Now the uh, slower lap times might also be because there's uh, low track rubber. Because it's been raining of course. We did our Q2 lap time right before the rain hit. Then there was more rubber on the track. So that might also contribute to the slower lap times. But either way, we're gonna go out at the end of Q3 again. See if we can improve. Now check out slower. Copy. And we need speed limiter on, speed limiter on. Yeah, in the pit lane. Copy that. I think Verstappen got held up. He's only P6, a second slower than us. Uh, let's quickly reconfigure. So yeah, I'm gonna use the same tires. Hopefully they'll be quick enough. Uh, confirm. Reconfigure for signs as well. Confirm. And then let's get ready for our second run. Do we go out right now? I mean, we could wait for as long as possible, but then there will be a lot of traffic. We could risk it though, with P1 and P2. We could risk it. Let's just wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. Nobody's going out right now. How long will our outlap uh, be? Like two minutes or something? Everybody's going out right now. Let's send out Leclerc. Let's wait a couple seconds. And then we send out signs. Hopefully not too late. It will be the last one, I think. The last one to cross the line. Now there's one behind him. Bottas. Let's see. Will we make it? Yeah, I think we will. Okay. Let's get the sector times up on the screen. Or the sector car loaders, at least. That way we can see if we're faster or slower than our previous lap in Q3. So here's Leclerc starting his uh, second run. Hopefully we can improve, even though we're already P1. Verstappen will definitely be improving. And we've got purple in sector one. So Leclerc is faster than he was during his first run in Q3. It's not purple anymore, it's green now. So somebody else is even quicker through sector one. Let's we'll see who that is, that's Max. Okay, our second sector is not better. And it's not showing the sector colors of signs somehow. That's weird. Maybe it was equal. Is that possible? That it doesn't show a uh, color? I don't know. Need to refuel? Yeah, ignore. That's fine. Let's see the lap time. 12.1 before and right now it's not improved. Science, where is he? Okay, two corners to go. Don't crash into the wall of champions. Did he improve? Max did, but we didn't. Max grabbed Paul. On the final lap of Q3. So that's no pull for Leclerc. Okay, we're starting P2 and P3, I guess. Oh, that was so close. Less than a tenth. Whew. He did 12.0. Okay. Well, that's gonna be interesting. 
Max is gonna be quick, that's for sure. And one of the targets was for us to finish 1-2 at the end of the race. So let's see if we can still do that. Drivers are strapping themselves in, ready for race day. We saw a reasonably good qualifying performance from Ferrari, and they certainly have a good chance to capitalize during the race. The work Red Bull did during qualifying was nothing short of spectacular. Now let's see if they can repeat that for today's race. The weather is very overcast here, and teams are staring at the sky watching for the first sign of rain. Strategies might have to be quite flexible going into today's race. But don't forget, there's always excitement in Montreal, and the odds are that this will be another Grand Prix to remember. Okay, so let's see if it stays dry. Will it show us somewhere? Not really, huh? We'll have to check during the race. So, what is the strategy going to be? Okay, there it is. The rain. Yeah, the percentages are not too high. Highest I'm seeing is 40. So, it could stay dry. So strategy A, medium to hard tires, one stop. Is that faster than starting on the softs? It is four seconds faster. Um, but if we do a two stop, then the two stop is six seconds faster. And what if we do a two stop, soft, hard, soft? Is that possible? Do, do, do we have two sets of softs? I think we do, right? A new stint. Okay, uh, that's a very short medium stint. Uh, update strategy B. So it is a little bit faster, but not that much. And then we do have to extend our final stint quite a lot. So maybe it's better to do uh, strategy C and then just push these medium tires. Or we turn it around, start on soft, then we finish on mediums. That's a lot slower, medium tires, during the second stint. Let's go for medium, hard, soft. Uh, or we split the strategies and then we turn it around for Leclerc. So Sainz will be able to go for the fastest lap with the soft tires at the end and then Leclerc We'll go for a soft and then medium tires. Now that 19, that's fine. And then that 46, okay. So soft, hard, medium. That's faster than a soft, medium, medium. Yeah, we don't have a new set, I think. So, yeah. So we're basically splitting the strategies. And uh, left 19. We could extend a little bit. Left 23. One. Uh, one is 
did I save it? 23, 51, something like that, 52, update. Yeah, so no one's stopping on the same lap. Okay, let's do it like this. Leclerc is starting on softs and Sainz is starting on mediums. Let's go. It's a bit of a cloudy day for the race, but the atmosphere, as ever, is electric. And there is Charles Leclerc. They're in second place on the grid, but that could so easily change in the first few seconds of the race. And further back, there's Sainz. Starting in third place, they're in a really good position for this race. The teams are ready to go. The drivers are ready and raring to go. It's the Canadian Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. Come on, Leclerc. You're on softs. Max is on mediums. Jacko is on softs as well. Let's push. See if we can get past. Let's also try and use some battery, some ERS on the straights. So deployed, deployed. Okay. Come on, Charles. Are you alongside? Not yet. Ah, oh, that Red Bull powertrain is so fast. You can't get past. I want to use a slipstream. We outbreak him. Oh, we're alongside. Come on. Here we go. Better exit. Using those soft tires. They're doing a good job. Head down. Yep. Let's see if Science can catch up with Max. We're aiming for a 1-2 finish here. And hopefully we can pull away from Max with Leclerc. We've got softer tires and we're pushing, so the gap is already a second. So if it stays like this, Max won't have DRS. This is good news for Leclerc and good news for Sainz. Put it back on neutral. Ooh, press right behind. You can use the RS. Thanks. He's pushing. He's got softer tires. Well, Sainz is driving aggressively, so. And he's w within a second of max. He could use the RS. Let's maintain the gap. We should slow down. Coffee. It's 2.7 already. We're driving away from uh, Verstappen very, very quickly. Okay, what's Sainz doing? What is Sainz doing? He's looking. Oh, he's not alongside yet. So we do have the fastest lap at the moment. And our main focus with Leclerc right now is just maintaining the gap to P2. 
and not destroying the soft tires. Oh, Perez going for the overtake. He backed out. Oh, he fell back. So Lewis is in P4 right now. No, we're not going for the overtake yet. Let's use ERS. Okay, gap between Leclerc and Verstappen is 3.6. So that's looking very good. We need to do 12 more laps on those soft tires. Yeah, we should be able to do that. I mean, we're driving aggressively, but that's fine. Come on, Carlos. You can do it, DRS. You're using ERS. Still one tenth behind him. Come on. Alongside, there we go. Let's keep ERS on the ploy. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. Let's try and pull away. Even Lewis is ahead of Max now. And we've got a second between us and P3. Even closing in on Leclerc. Probably because we're deploying a lot of battery. Well, let's put it back on neutral. And let's manage the gaps here now. So that was a good start to the race. We're P1 and P2 at the moment. And we're pitting Leclerc in 11 laps and we're pitting Sainz in 15 laps. And there's no rain on the radar at the moment. A lot of different strategies. It's basically 50-50 between the softs and the mediums at the moment. Okay, so Max is back in P3. Let's watch out for him. We could push the tires a bit more, but I don't want these tires to drop off the cliff. Maybe we need to start pushing if he gets a bit closer. Let's see what happens to the gap if we skip forward. Okay, Lewis and Max are still fighting. Gap is 1.2, the signs in P2, 1.5, 1.9, Lewis fell back behind Checo. So the gaps are quite stable, and it's looking good, we've got a uh, great race pace. Now Paris is in P3, and Red Bulls were fighting, Checo fell back. Lewis is back up into P4. They're doing a lot of fighting, and that's good for us. Still 1.5 between Max and Sainz. Oh, a second between us and Lewis. Now let's push a bit more with Sainz. Keep pushing to the last corner. Copy. Lewis is coming for us. There he is. Right behind us. Seven tenths. Now Leclerc is doing well. Still 54% of tire life left. And we're pitting him in four laps. 
least that's when the pit window opens. Six tenths to Lewis. Even though we're pushing. I think he's got DRS on us. Yeah, he does. Eight tenths, seven tenths. He's gaining on us. Well, the Red Bulls are fighting for P4. Oh, he's got P2. Lewis has got P2. Or has he? Come on, Carlos. Need you to push. This is costing us a lot of time. I mean, it's good for Leclerc, but we need a 1 2 finish. Let's try and use ERS. On the straights. Come on, two tenths, one tenth. Up the inside. Yes, there we go. Through the hairpin. You're doing a very good job, Carlos. And we've got DRS. Oh, yellow flag. Contact and several cars involved. We can what take happened? a look now. Watch this. We're looking at Lando Norris. Oof. That's the contact there. That was Yuki. There was no safety car or anything. Yuki's got a penalty. And Norris just has bad luck, I guess. He's not even out of the race. He's still running. Okay. And there's a big gap between us and Lewis. Okay, so. Slow down now. We don't have to push. Copy. Not too much. Two point eight to Lewis. Slow down. Yeah. We can conserve the tires a little bit, and then uh, maybe later on we can push right before the pit window opens. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, Max is in P three. He's closing in on us. So. Attack. We can push a bit more. Okay. So Sainz is pushing more and Leclerc is basically using all of the tires that he's got left right before the pit window opens. Forty-four percent of tire life left for Leclerc. And the pit window is now open. We were planning on stopping on lap uh, 19 with Leclerc. So let's see what happens if we skip ahead. Lewis and Max are battling. It was in P3 at the moment. Seems to have been a lockup. Let's have a look. Now watch this. Here's Alonso's car. Well, they've lost it. They've locked up. That's going to be a big blow to the team. Will they be able to recover? We'll see. Okay, so one more lap until 
we start uh, the pit stops. And once Leclerc is in the pits, I'm gonna push signs a bit more. So he will be pitting on lap 23. Max is back in P3, 2.8, 2.9 to sign. Okay, so during our first stint, I think we managed the gaps pretty well. And we're in one, uh, P1 and P2 right now, so... Here we go, this is the optimal lap for pitting with our current strategy. So let's go ahead and do that. So from soft to hard tires, and hopefully we can push those hard tires a bit. Uh, we're pitting Leclerc this lap. And box this lap, box, pit confirm. Oh, Lewis, okay, he's right in front of Verstappen. I saw him in P3 with like 0 0.06 seconds or something. I was like, what? He's right behind Sainz, but he was right behind Max and already up in P3 in the on the interface. So, Max and Lewis are battling, that's good for us. That's costing them a lot of time. Let's push signs, he's a second and a half. A second and a half behind Leclerc. And Leclerc will disappear into the pits. So Sainz can push his tires for the last few laps of this stint. And then on lap 23, Sainz will also go to hard tires. So both of the cars. Charles pit lane. Copy. Speed limiter on and speed limiter on. Here we go. So both of the cars will be on mediums then. I mean, uh, both of the cars will be on hard tires then. Okay, so where are we dropping back to? P9, looks like we'll be in P9. Right behind Alonso. We should slow down. Let's not be too aggressive on these tires at the start of our stint. We don't want to ruin the tires. Otherwise, we'll be like Leclerc at Suzuka, where he pushed his interest way too much in the first few laps. So while Leclerc is in P9, trying to fight his way to the front, the science is trying to create a gap between him and Max, but it's not really working. Max is quick. Maybe because of DRS. Maybe he was right behind Hamilton before he pitted. But look at that gap. 1.8. Max is quick. Leclerc still stuck. Oh, that traffic. And Gasly is stopping now. The traffic could really mess with our strategy. Here's Copy. Oh, Russell spun. That was Russell, right? It's a spin. Let's see what happened there. 
Jones. Now let's look at this. Here's George Russell. And this, yes, this is where they spun. That wasn't old tires, I think. It wasn't old socks. Yeah, he was. You are doing a good job. Keep doing the same procedure. Okay, so we pitted and we're right now... Advance the race position! 13 seconds behind Max. Okay. One more lap until we pit Sainz. So Leclerc should have free air. He should be good right now. Ooh, his ERS is almost completely empty. Okay, let's keep him on aggressive. And Sainz can use all of the tires for these last two laps. Let's see when Max will pit. Maybe he will pit in the same lap as us. I mean, I believe he's also on mediums, right? Yeah, he's also on mediums. Let's see. So one more lap until we box. And Leclerc's doing well. He's uh, taking like a second a, a lap out of the gap between him and Verstappen. Is that right? Last lap. Almost a second faster. Optimal lap for pitting. Okay, let's do it. Uh, medium to hard. Pit this lap. And box, Carlos, box. Yeah, box. So gap to Verstappen is still around two seconds. If it stays like this, it's fine. But a couple of laps ago, he was really flying towards us. So I don't know if that was DRS or something. But apparently he couldn't keep that pace up. And he's now still two seconds behind us. Leclerc's doing well. Might be the winning strategy. The yeah, soft heart medium one. And hopefully we can finish P2 with signs then. Tires are getting a little warm for Leclerc, but a little warm is not that much of a problem. Yeah, it's only yellow. That's fine. Okay, we go. Understood. Max is staying out. 2.4 second stop. That's decent. Okay, so we're pitting Leclerc in 19 laps. Sainz is now in P4 and we'll be pitting him in 25 laps, okay. Let's put it on aggressive. Slow down now. Copy. So let's see when Max will pit. Bottas in P3, what's he doing? He's still on the medium tire. He's using the DRS he's got from Leclerc. He stays out, he could do a one stop. Just cruise behind the Ferrari, use the Ferrari's pace. Could be a good strategy for Bottas. But maybe he'll pit in a, in a few laps time. And he's staying out for now. And we're closing in on Max with uh, Leclerc. We need to watch out for Bottas. He's quick. 
on the straight. See, because of the DRS, Bottas is basically doing the same lap time as us. He's doing really, really well. And we're almost a second a lap faster than Max. But Max still needs to pit. Maybe he's doing a one-stop though. Could be. Norris is pitting. I think Norris' race is basically ruined. Ricciardo is dead last. One of 20 seconds behind Albon. So if we skip ahead a few laps right now, what happens? Bottas pits, okay. So I'm guessing Bottas is on a two stop. But Max is still out there. He might be on a one stop. So we're, oh, Max is pitting. He's gone from medium to hard tires. Lap 27. Sainz is ahead of him as well. Where's Max? Quite far behind. Okay. Four seconds behind Sainz. Okay. So we've got Leclerc coming in in 16 laps and Sainz coming in in 22 laps. Our tires are still looking quite good right now. So if we want we can push. Let's see what happens between the, uh, in the gap between uh, Sainz and Verstappen. Let's see, 4.2 right now. It's quite stable, 4.4, yellow, it was only a short yellow. Now let's look at this, the focus on Sonoda. They spun the car, what a disaster. He doesn't have the best race, that's for sure. The team are really disappointed with that. Let's hope it doesn't set them back too badly. I remember him, him not doing as well uh, during the actual Canadian Grand Prix. Came out of the pits on cold tires, locked up into the wall. It was a shame for Yuki. But he's, he's making a lot of mistakes. Hopefully he can learn from them. So we're still 1-2 and the gaps are quite stable. Oh minor ERS damage. What's going on? What's going on? Okay, yeah. So ERS only has 39% of life left. I think we should be all right. Now let's see what science. Uh, okay, that's all fine. That looks fine. So reliability shouldn't really be an issue. Okay, cap is 5.3. Between P1 and P2, and between P2 and P3. So those are healthy gaps. And it looks like the gaps are easy to maintain as well. We could start pushing a bit more in a few laps if we want. Tire life is really good on these hard tires. So let's skip ahead a bit. See if anything happens. There's some back markers here for Leclerc. So Leclerc lost a bit of time. Gap to Sainz is 5.1 now. The 
Oh, so uh, should move out of the way, but they're not doing that. Okay, here they are. Yeah, the blue flag mechanics aren't always working that well. Okay, so gap between Leclerc and Sainz is now 4.8. You know what? Let's start pushing with the... So we need to push for these laps. Our tires. Copy. Let's start pushing. And in a couple of laps time we can do the same with signs if we wanted to. Maybe we have to. Because I'm not too sure yet whether uh, Verstappen is on a one stop or a two stop yet. So let's see, let's skip ahead. The gap between Leclerc and Sainz is increasing. Now Sainz has got all kinds of blue flags, all kinds of back markers in front of him. And it's getting cloudy. Shouldn't be any rain on the radar though. Tires are overheating for Sainz, but it's not too bad. Only yellow temperatures, that's fine. And the gap between Sainz and Max is 6.1. Now let's push with Sainz as well. It's time to go hunting. I mean to you. Okay. Okay, so both of the Ferrari drivers are now pushing like crazy. What a strong lap. Copy, copy. Okay, fastest lap for Sainz, 16.4. And the pit window for Leclerc will open in four laps. So the gap between Sainz and Verstappen is increasing little by little. But right now, Max is on the same pace as us. Even though we're pushing these tires to the limit. So, Science is catching up with Leclerc quite well. Gap is only three seconds now. Now, of course, Science's tires are uh, a little bit fresher. We pitted Leclerc earlier. Then we did science. Oh, oh, science locked up. That's gonna cost us a little bit of time. That's what you get when you push. They've locked up and gone straight on. That is not too bad. Yeah, we lost like two, three seconds, I think. But it could be worse. There's no damage, as far as I can tell, no damage, so we should be good. And we are pitting Leclerc on lap 46, okay, so let's skip ahead. I'm very curious to see what Verstappen will do. Because he is on hot tires. Lewis is on hot tires as well. Checo as well. So we're now on the lap on which we will pit Leclerc.
and we'll put him on the medium tire until the end. He's pushing these tires and they're getting a bit hot, but can be the problem. options we're going from the hard tire to the medium tire so our pace should, uh, should definitely improve estimated exit position third okay so we'll drop back behind Verstappen and buck now buck Box. And then we'll be pitting signs in three laps time. Or in at least three laps time. That's when the window opens. Box. Copy. And pit limiter on. See hopefully a good stop. 2.5. Not too bad. So where is Lewis? Where is Lewis? Hit the wall of champions right now. Okay, so we should indeed it be in third. Let's not push too much. We should slow down. Copy. Now Sainz is pushing. He's five seconds ahead of Max. Honestly, I can't see Max staying out on these tires for too long. No way, he's gonna go until the end. I think his mediums uh, or his hard tires could drop off near the end like crazy. And we've got mediums, so... I think we're in a better position. Even if Max would stay out and do a one-stop, I think we should still be able to win with Leclerc. Now, if I was Red Bull, I would probably still stay out and go for P2. Because if you pit, then Verstappen might even uh, end up in P3. So, he's more than five seconds behind signs. If both of the cars would still make another stop, then I think signs would end up in P2. But we'll see. It's looking very good for Leclerc. And Sainz's finishing position will probably depend on whether Max will pit for a second time or not. But Sainz is pushing like crazy right now on his old hard tires. And we're pitting him in a couple of laps. Pit window opens soon. And Leclerc is going until the end on these mediums. So let's skip ahead. Pit window is active. So let's fit him on the optimal lap, which is lap 52. And the gap between Sainz and Verstappen is 4 seconds. So for Stappen's pace is not too bad. Even though Sainz is pushing these hard tires to the limit. He's keeping up quite well. I think he's even faster than us. Yeah he is. He was a second a lap faster than us. Last lap. Very very quick. Maybe we got a held up. I don't know. But a second lap is a lot here in Canada. Hey Dominic. At the moment we are the fastest car on track. There we go, Leclerc, 15.5. Very good pace. 
Only three seconds behind Max right now. Okay, uh, let's skip ahead a bit. So Max is falling back from uh, Steins again. And we're now on the final lap before our next pit stop with Steins. the optimal lap and we're gonna put signs on soft tires so hopefully he can go for the fastest lap of the race uh, pit options and we are on hard tires and we go to softs for the final 18 laps of this race uh, pit this lap so there's Leclerc right behind Verstappen. Alongside with DRS. Ahead. Yep. Well ahead. Keep doing the same. Push. We need you to push now. Okay. So that's that was a battle for P2, but it's basically a battle for the lead. Because science is pitting now. And hopefully we can drive away. We've got fresher tires, we've got softer tires than Max. Let's see what happens with science. Good pit stop. Yep, 2.4 to the soft tire. Oh, and they're battling for the lead. So I'm thinking Verstappen may stay out. He might be going for a one stop. Come on, let's see if we can uh, pull away. We're pushing these mediums to the max. To try, to try and get away from max. The gap between Verstappen and Sainz is 13 seconds. That's a lot. That is a lot. Do we push the soft tires of Sainz? Why not? Let's try and push these tires for a few laps to try and get the fastest lap. And then we bring it down a bit. Oh, we need to try and get away from Max. Try and keep him from uh, getting DRS because he's still within a second of us right now. Very close. Well, his hard tires are so old. His hard tires are probably around 30 laps old right now. It doesn't show here, but I think he pitted around lap 27, I believe. So, Verstappen could be going until the end. So this is a battle for, for the race win. Is it too hot? Ooh, yeah, they are. Science is pushing, that's for sure. Back markers. And Verstappen is still within a second. Leclerc's pushing, he's giving it all he's got. Oh, we've got DRS as well, because of Mick. Nice. It's a second now, come on, deploy. So deployed, deployed. 1.1. Basically micromanaging the race right now. Don't know if we need to do that, but looks like it's helping. It's 1.1 at the moment. Hopefully we can pull away from Verstappen right now. And let's see, maybe Sainz can do a faster slap. Not yet. 15.4. Does he have traffic? Yeah, he, he had some traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, gap to Verstappen 1.8. So it's looking good for Leclerc. It'll be difficult for Sainz to get up to P2. That was the goal for this race to finish 1-2. Uh, That's going to be really difficult. Our soft tires will need to have really good pace. There's 15 laps left. The gap is less than 12 seconds, so we basically need to be uh, a second a lap faster than Max to get P2 with Sainz. Should be possible, but don't know if we can consistently keep up that pace. Especially towards the end of the race. Because we're really pushing these top tires. Now the gap between Verstappen and the Science is definitely decreasing. So that's good. Last lap was 15.4. That's almost two seconds a lap faster than Max. And we're pulling away from Max with Leclerc as well. If the gap keeps on increasing, uh, we could even slow down a little bit and save some of the tire life for the end of the race, if needed. Let's see what happens if we speed up a little bit. Yeah, so we're definitely pulling away from Max with Leclerc and we're driving towards Verstappen with uh, Carlos. And Leclerc still has the fastest lap of the race. That's impressive, even though Sainz is on soft tires right now. So we can go back to aggressive with Leclerc. Gap is 5.4 seconds to P2. We should slow down. Yeah, could be. But let's focus on Sainz. He's 5.9 behind Verstappen. Let's try and get P2 with him. Let's see. He's two seconds a lap faster than Max at the moment. Let's see how quickly he can catch up. Three seconds. Two. 1.5. With less than 10 laps to go. Okay, let's hydrate. Don't forget to hydrate. It's nice and hot. Uh, let's check. Yeah, science is pushing. You can tell the tire life is going down faster than expected. But he's right behind Verstappen right now. He caught up to him with eight laps to go. We should be able to fly right past him. If we can, that would be P2 for Sainz. Come on. He's right behind him with DRS. Do we have ERS to spare? We do. Come on. There we go. ERS, DRS off the tires. That's P2 for Sainz. I think you were st very strong out there. So that's Ferrari 1-2 at the moment. And we're already a second ahead of Max. Let's try and keep it that way. We don't want him to get DRS. 1.5 oh these soft tires are so quick and it's like we expected right Verstappen's on a one stop and his tires are dropping off like crazy 
near the end of the race. His pace isn't what it was. Ooh, let's put it back on neutral. We don't want to have an empty battery. We're deploying a bit too much energy there. That's why the gap is already 2.7 to stop it. And now I think we can just cruise. Really good lap time. Okay, fastest lap. 14.6, there we go. We can cruise to the finish line. Slow down. Okay. It's looking really good. Basically as expected. So we managed to push past Verstappen with Leclerc at the start of the race. And we managed to get a fastest lap with Sainz near the end of the race. Now we're not done yet. Anything can still happen. Our drivers could crash. Someone else could crash, safety car could come out. That was six laps to go. So Leclerc's five and a half seconds ahead of Sainz. And Sainz is around six seconds ahead of Max. It's looking like that will be the podium today. Hopefully we can get a Ferrari one too. That's what they wanted us to get. And it looks like it's happening. Just a couple of laps to go. A lot of back markers right now. Lots of blue flags. Okay, two laps to go. And with one more lap to go, we're now well ahead of the rest of the field. Sainz is already eight seconds in front of Verstappen. Last lap, last lap. Okay, we managed the tires quite well. 34% of tire life left for Leclerc and 30% of tire life left for Sainz. We didn't even need to use the higher fuel modes. So it's looking like this season will be very different for Leclerc than the actual 2022 Formula 1 season. I believe Leclerc has gotten basically a podium on every race he did. He's been Mr. Consistent in this series, that's for sure. And he's got another win to his name. Leclerc, P1. And check it, flag. That's Leclerc. Charles Leclerc is today's winner. Here's the replay. Charles Leclerc there, taking home the win. And that's a Ferrari 1-2. Exactly what the sponsors wanted to see. And we managed to make it happen. Science P2, Verstappen P3. And Checo still racing. He managed to get past Lam Hamilton. So let's skip ahead until everyone's crossed the line. 
There we go. Well, this was definitely Charles Leclerc's weekend. This podium is a brilliant reward for everyone's hard work over the weekend. And the Monegasque driver certainly proved his worth with a terrific drive today. But there we have all three drivers that are taking home the silverware along with the most valuable points. I don't think Ferrari will be too disappointed with that result. It's really wonderful to see all the hard work they've been putting in paying off like this. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. For the next round, we're heading back to the heart of the UK. Get ready for a race to remember in Silverstone, the cradle of Formula One. Okay, so that was the Canadian Grand Prix. And we've managed to finish this one with a Ferrari 1-2. Exactly what they asked us to do. And Sainz got the fastest lap. So the medium to hard to soft strategy really did what it needed to do. We got that extra point. Ricciardo finished last. Whew. Terrible, terrible race for him. So we're still leading the championship with Leclerc. He's got eight wins and nine podiums. He's been on fire, he's unstoppable. And Sainz is closing in on Verstappen in the driver standings. And hopefully he can get back up to P2. He's had a slow start to the season. But he will get there, I think he will. And the Constructors' Championship, we're well ahead of Red Bull at the moment. So that was Canada. I hope you liked this race, guys. I'll see you for the next one.